I am upgrading my category 6 to cut 8 this cable from Monoprice this is 22 gauge my cut 6 is 23 and I'm gonna use this which is rated for cut 8 the link up ethernet plug this is by the way a 12 pack cheaper to buy I have lots of uh, cable to terminate 12 pack cheaper and so it has this and this is the the dust cover we don't need this this is the one that goes here and the guide we're gonna use type B because my wiring type the rest of my network is all type B and it comes with also with copper tape now because this is 22 American AWG or gauge this one seems small I've done few things but so I'm gonna I have this tape already I have this copper tape so this is this is better see this is longer so I can wrap it really good and so but of course you can still use this so this is the tape I cut about one centimeter same but longer so I have that let's put this aside now I will need uh, if you have something scissors can but I have a cutter here for the outer perfect for this pair of scissors you can use that all the way or I have also to snip in the wire this is flushed more because it's angled so I use this and I might need plier and the I don't have the tool for this one so I have uh, improvised and use might use the plier we'll set this aside so insert this black first black this is the one that will lock the, the jack okay do this before you do anything cutting here it's easier now you can cut three to four centimeters and I'm gonna use this okay wrap the mesh which is the shield additional shield open this to find the center bare copper wire there you go this is probably used in another type of connection I'm using RJ45 which doesn't make use of this bare copper wire so we will just wrap it around there you go then we will wrap it with the copper wire if I can remove the the, the paper there you go
breaks, but that's fine because it drops around. Perfect. That's why I like a longer copper wire. Then use scissors to cut this. Unwrap the aluminum shield. Once you find you find the the edge, it's very easy now. You just need to rotate a little bit because it is twisted. That's why it's called the wire are twisted pairs, so they twist also the aluminum. Yeah. We can score and cut. Be careful not to cut through the wires. Oops. And uh, the last one. Okay. Now we got that, and we're gonna follow Type B wiring. And this thing goes in like this. Okay. Not the one I did before. Like this. No, not like that. And not even like this. Okay. So, it's type B wiring. We follow. Which is green, white, green, orange, white, orange. Green, white, green, orange, white, orange. And for type B or type A, we're the same on the other side, which is brown, white, brown, blue, white, blue. Brown, white, brown, it goes in pairs, so don't be confused because they, they are both white. Some brand will have a stripe brown white, stripe blue white, stripe green white, and stripe orange white. This one is all white. So, but you know, because it comes in pairs. In pair. Okay, now 
this one goes here we will insert it so to make it easier to insert we're gonna cut this a little bit diagonal like this there diagonal so that we can insert it good at the same time there that's a tip and let's see if I have to push it some more but this is how I check it, it goes like this okay and the copper goes here so this is good let's put it push it a little bit more okay that should be good yep perfect now we'll put the brown white yeah brown white put the brown brown the pair of brown is this white and the blue and the pair of blue is this white okay let's check before we cut before we cut the wire goes in like this and perfectly sit perfectly here the copper okay push a little bit because it keeps on pushing to the other Let's cut it. Can I use this tool? Here we cut this. This is how it looks like. Okay. Now we have to insert. No, not insert, push. And then push. Remember, that one slot goes in here, and this one on top goes on top. Good. Then we can close. Now, a little bit of help from the plier, but when you use a plier, don't, don't just push this because this is very fragile. This will come off easily. That's, it, it will break. That, that's what happened to me last time, the first time I installed this. So hold it and now you can release. There's a little bit of copper outside. It's fine. Down. Just screw it here. It's not that close. <sighs> you really have to align it. 
because I have 22 gauge the wire is kind of uh, thicker so it's hard to close so now I'm gonna use this This is pretty secure and I can even do it more oh, but that's it I cannot secure so this is the cat 8 Ethernet jack there you go and just to demo the one that will not the the cap the dust cup cap I'm not gonna use this because I'm gonna plug this to the switch but just so you can cover it if you want press and push they call it dust cap but if you're not using it okay that's it when we plug the other end, we'll test. Mm -hmm.